So some of you guys had a question on doing a Newman projection for a chair, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. What I'm gonna do is something even better. I'm gonna give you guys a question. I'm gonna work it through, but this, this is something he could put on the exam, right? This is fair game. It's the same thing you've seen, it just looks a little different, okay? So we're comparing these two molecules. The question is, which one is the most stable, okay? Now these look a little weird, right? This is an example of where you want to get your bearings, okay? So um, I'm gonna start here at one and count um, around this Newman projection. So I start, I start here and I go one is in the back, two is in the back, three is in the front, four in the front, five in the front, six in the back. And I say front back because that's where that's where it is, right? This is the back. This two is on this back carbon. This three is on this front carbon. This four is up front. This five is on this front carbon. This six is on this back carbon. If you have a, if you're having a hard time looking at that, then go back to Newman projections because the Newman doing Newman projections is what's going to show you what was what. Okay, so then we go over here. This is just like the procedure that we should do for chairs in general. We, we go in number one, two, three, four, five, six. And from there we compare. So on number one of our Newman, we have, we have two hydrogens. So we have two hydrogens on one of our new structures. That's fine. Two, we have a CH3 going up, coming from the back carbon. So that means we have a CH3 going up right? Position three, we have two hydrogens, okay? Position three, we have two hydrogens, that's fine. Position four, we have, oh, hold on, go back to two, I'm sorry. Two has a, a CH3 going up and a CH3 coming down, that's my fault. Three, we're in the front, nothing's there, two and two. Four, same thing. Five, same thing. Six, we're on this one, has a CH3 going up. So that's gonna be equatorial. So we do the same thing here. Oh, sorry, my shares are crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna name them, label them, sorry. Two is gonna Two is gonna have a CH3 going up and a CH3 coming down. Let me make these different colors so you guys can see it. Up, down. Three is fine, four is fine, five is fine, six is gonna go down. Okay, so now we can clearly see the most stable structure is this one because it has two equatorial groups. But you don't even need to turn these into chairs to see what's more stable. Because you can just look at the at the substituents. Look at these. If it's pointing up at an angle, it's equatorial. If it's if it's an angle, it's equatorial. If it's straight up and down, it's axial. So it doesn't even you don't even have to turn it to a chair. You just know this one has two equatorial and one axial. This one has two axial and one equatorial. It's all about what's diagonal or straight up and down. And that's it, okay? Um, so if, you, if you're required to turn a Newman of a chair into a chair, just label it. Label it going around the chair, right? And, and this, is, this, is not, uh, this is just a numbering system to keep track of everything, okay? Um, and so you, you label it, you number it, and then from there you draw a chair and then just start, right? We're gonna start at one and just move down. And that's it.